first reading a reading from the book of proverbs chapter 21 verses 1 to 6 and 10 to 13 the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the lord he turns it wherever he will all deeds are right in the sight of the doer but the lord weighs the heart to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the lord than sacrifice haughty eyes and a proud heart the lamp of the wicked are sin the plans of diligent lead surely to abundance but everyone who is hasty comes only to want the getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death the souls of the wicked desire evil their neighbors find no mercy in their eyes when a scoffer is punished the simple become wiser when the wise are instructed they increase in knowledge the righteous one observes the house of the wicked he casts the wicked down to ruin If you close your ear to the cry of the poor you will cry out and not be heard the word of the lord Dear Jesus You give us this golden opportunity to form a part of your spiritual family. We have only to do what we have to do is to listen to your word and to put it into practice. We must always search the will of God and we must live according to the will of God. If you do that, we have this golden opportunity to form a part of your spiritual family. Therefore help us to do the will of God in our lives. so that we also can become your brother and your sister a reading is taken from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 8 verses 19 to 21 then his mother and his brothers came to him but they could not reach him because of the crowd and he was told your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you but he said to them My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. This is the gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Jesus very clearly said to his disciples, "If you love your father and mother above me, you are not worthy of me. If you love your husband or wife more than me, you are not worthy of me." In the same manner Jesus said to his followers search the kingdom of God first and everything will be given to you my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ these were not merely words Jesus himself set an example how to put these words into practice Jesus loved his heavenly father above anything and above anyone He loved his heavenly father more than his mother and his father. That is why every day he got up early in the morning and he went up to a mountain to search the will of God. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, at the same time, having come into this world, Jesus dedicated his entire life for the kingdom of God. He searched the kingdom of God. He had a house in Nazareth but he did not live with his mother and father in his house but he was living like a homeless person since his aim and his intention was to establish the kingdom of God here on earth that's why when a certain person came to follow Jesus Jesus said to him very clearly the foxes they have holes and the birds of the air they have nests where a son of man he doesn't have a place to lay down his head therefore my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ he searched the kingdom of god first and therefore everything was given to him 
my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, while Jesus was carrying out his public ministry, while Jesus was carrying out his public ministry in establishing kingdom of God here on earth, there was a rumor among his own people that Jesus is possessed by Belzebul, especially Pharisees. They were spreading the news among the people that Jesus is possessed by Belzebul and Jesus performed all these miracles through the power of Belzebul. In fact, Jesus was doing his strange things. He was performing miracles and his mother and his brothers, they were somewhat disturbed to hear that Jesus is possessed by Belzebul. They were disturbed to hear that Jesus was doing strange things. That is why in today's gospel, they come to look for Jesus. They want to see whether Jesus is really possessed by Belzebul, whether Jesus is doing strange things through the power of the demon. Otherwise, Mother Mary and his brothers and his foster father, they did not disturb him because even they, they gave priority to the Lord in their lives. They loved God above everything and anyone. Otherwise, they would have not come and disturbed Jesus. They knew that Jesus was fulfilling the will of God. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, even we have this golden opportunity to do the will of God and to form a part of this spiritual family of Jesus. Because when, the, when someone told Jesus that your mother and your brothers, they are looking for you, Jesus says, who is my mother? Who, is my, who are my brothers? Those who do the will of God, they are my mother, they are my brothers. Therefore, we too can form part of this spiritual family of Jesus. That is by doing the will of God. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us try to do the will of God. The will of God is that we must love him above everything and everyone. And at the same time, we must search the kingdom of God first so that everything will be given to us. Amen. Sweet.